William, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to compute these logarithms without a calculator. Let's look at the first one. The first one is log base 6 of 36 is equal to what? First, let me show you a more traditional way on the side right here. Let me write down the question again. Log base 6 of 36. Well, here is the thought process. I don't know how big this number is, right? So let me call this number to be a variable that say k, just an unknown at the moment. And you see, this equation here, it's in the log form. What we have to do first is, we have to change this into the exponential form. To do so, you see that we have log base 6. The base stays the same in the log form and also in the exponential form. So we have the 6 right here. And this right here, it's going to be the power. So we have the k here. 6 to the k is equal to this number inside. So 6 to the k is equal to 36. This is how we change from a log equation into an exponential equation. Okay, so this is how we do it. And then you ask yourself, 6 to what power will give us 36? Well, we know 6 squared gives us 36, right? So we know k, this number here, has to be 2. And then we are done. And now let me show you an important property. So let me make a note right here. And this is how I will show you on how to do these questions right here. Whenever we have a log with a base, let me just put on b for the base. And then the inside here, if this turns out to be b to the m power, if this is what we have, then this is what we can do. We get to cancel the log and then the b right here. Because b to the n is the exponential form, right? And log of something like this. Log and exponential, they cancel each other out. And we will just leave with the m for the answer. So this is the idea I'm going to use for these questions. And now let's look at number one again. We have log base 6 of 36. So let me just write down log base 6. That will stay the same for now. And then we look at the 36 in the parentheses here. And we ask ourselves, can we write 36 as 6 to a power? We know 36 is the same as 6 to the second power. And you see, now the log base 6 and 6 to the second power, the 6 match. So we can cancel them out. We can use this property here. And what's the answer? Well, the answer is just the number 2 right here. And we are done. Let's look at the next one. Number 2, we have log base 2 of 1. This here should be straightforward. You can remember this as a fact. Anytime we have a log with any base, if the inside is 1, then the answer is just 0. Okay? If you have a log with any base, if the inside is 1, then the answer is just 0. And now let me show you how come it is a 0. Log base 2, let me just write it down as how it is. And then, similar strategy, I look at the number inside of the parentheses, it's a 1. And we ask ourselves, can we write 1 as 2 to a power? Yes, it's a tricky one, but then we can still do it. We know 2 to the 0 power is 1, right? And now you see log base 2 right here, and this 2 cancel out, and then we have the answer 0. And then we are done again. Number 3, we have log, and is there a typo that I forgot to put on number right here or what? I just have log, I didn't have any number. What does this mean? Well, it's not a typo, it's not a mistake. Whenever we have a log without any number here, this means we have log base 10. Okay, we have log base 10. You should remember that. And then, right here, when we have square root of 10, well, I want to use this idea here. For the inside here, we want to make it look like something to a power, right? So, let's look at square root of 10. The square root, we can write it as a power form. You have to remember, square root is the same as 2 the 1 half power. So, when we have square root of 10, let me first write down 10, and you see this 10 and this 10 match. And now, the square root is the 1 half power. And once again, log 10 here cancel with that, and the answer is what? Just the 1 half. Next one, we have ln of e to the third power, and the ln is the natural log. So, what's the base of this log? Well, we have to remember this, ln is the same as log base e 
and then if you look at the inside, e to the third power is already in this form, and we have e to the third power here. This e and i match, so once again they cancel out. So what's the answer? Well, it's just a three. Now number five, we have ln again. So let me write it down as log base e, and then this time we are dealing with the cube root, right? So for cube root, I'm also going to change this into the power form. So here we have cube root of e. Let me write down the e first. And for cube root, you have to remember for cube root here, we will have the one third power. And one more time, this that cancel, and the answer at the end is one third. Okay, and hopefully this helped. And check out the next video for the harder examples. That's it.